Why MBA? If there was one interview question which I'd say is really difficult to answer at times is why MBA? Because what happens is that when suddenly somebody asks you, hey, why MBA? You have to go back and remind yourself that, hey, why exactly did I choose to spend my last one year in the cat prep? And now when finally I am in my interview room and when I'm being asked why MBA, I have to really give them the answer that makes sense. Well, the fact is you don't need to give them an answer which makes sense. You have to give them an authentic answer. And here is where most MBA aspirants make a mistake. I know you'd be preparing for this answer with your mentors at coaching institutes and I have been the MBA product head at Career Launcher myself. So I know how it works. But then key, the very fundamental fact about why MBA is that you've got to be authentic and for you to be authentic, you have to find your own answer to this. And in this video, my plan is to give you a very well structured algorithm with which you can find your own authentic answer for why MBA. So up till now, if you were depending on anyone to help you out with this answer, then hey, this algorithm is going to get you the answer in the next one hour provided that you research for it well and you watch this video completely. Hi, I'm Darpan Saxena, an MBA graduate from IIM Udaipur and I help MBA students get the best career outcomes without depending on the placement. Now for this video, what I've done is that each week I take a webinar for MBA aspirants wherein I help you with your interview preparation strategy. And what I'll be showing you are some slides from that particular session. So if you've not yet attended that class, please go ahead, scroll down in the description find the link and save your spot for the next webinar happening this week because I do share a lot of secrets a lot of important tips and tricks which will help you be more authentic and be more attractive to the interview panel also I've started a brand new telegram group wherein I help MBA students and MBA aspirants with their MBA journey with some valuable content which I create so let's get on and understand that how do you exactly find the answer make your own answer for why MBA. Now here's the thing, the fundamental mistake which MBA aspirants make when they're creating the answer or when they're thinking about the answer for why MBA is this. You might be under the impression that hey MBA is my objective, that hey you know some students, some MBA aspirant when I take a lot of mock interviews, they say that, hey, MBA was always my aspiration when I was in my engineering, you know, I always wanted to do an MBA, this and that. Some of them also say that, hey, the most authentic answer is that if I will say that, hey, I want to earn more, hence I am doing MBA. This is also something which students misunderstand when I tell them that, hey, you've got to be authentic. The fact of the matter is that when you're answering why MBA, you need to realize MBA is not your goal. MBA is not your end objective. You've got to identify an end objective and the MBA program, be it from whichever B school, is only the means to that end. Therefore, finding your YMB answer is not about finding the YMB answer, is more about finding the goal you have in your life in the next. Therefore, if you see this, I've said it's about discovering your goal from MBA. And the way you should think about it is like this, that you are currently at this point A in your life. You are this MBA aspirant who has probably cracked CAT or ZAT or some exam and now you will be appearing for your MBA admission interviews and your reality of life is that that hey you have completed your engineering or your CA or your BCom, you've had some work X or you are a fresher. Just write this reality down somewhere on an A4 sheet. Take a pen and a paper and write it down that who am I right now. now once you fill that one page with your current story, go ahead and do this. Imagine yourself say 5 to at max 7 years from now and try to imagine what kind of a person, what kind of a professional you intend to be in the next 5 years. One key trick to find this out is that do not start off by imagining the job role you want to be in. Start off from a much zoomed out perspective, which means start off by imagining that, hey, what kind of a life do I want to lead eventually? Because when you imagine what kind of a life you want to lead eventually, you are being very true to your own self. It's almost as if that you are having a very spiritual thought at that point of time and that pure thought in itself will make your YMB answer very authentic. Therefore, the next thing which you've got to do is that scribble this down. What kind of a life I envision for myself? Where do I live? How much do I earn? 
how you know how long are my work hours how much impact is my work creating to whom is my work impacting in the society from there you will get a good idea about what kind of a work you want to do from there you will be able to find out that okay what sort of a job role what sort of a domain suits me and hence you would be able to broadly figure out your point b your destination b your goal b now here's the interesting go ahead and research that how would somebody from your place who's probably just graduated from your undergraduate college or has some two or three years or four years of work experience how would you or how would somebody who was in your place how would he have reached that same point b without mba this research is important because what you'll find out is that that yes it takes longer but there is always a way to reach there even without mba a very big problem which mba students have is that that they imagine and they that they imagine and they believe that most of the job roles which come to a b school can only be accessed if you are pursuing an mba that's not entirely true if you go ahead and scan linkedin you will definitely be able to find a lot of people who are working in those very organizations where you want to be and probably they're not even mba even if you find four of them or five of them that is good enough for you because your answer needs to be much grounded in reality so go ahead find out that okay what is the usual journey from your point a to point b without mba and then here is where things get interesting that with an mba find out that how does it change that the b school where you are about to go for the interview what sort of job roles in that space come into your b school and once you get placed into that job role from your b school what is the career transition from there to eventually reach b now that in itself will actually help you craft your answer because now your interview answer will look something like this that sir i intend to reach this point in my life this is my life and career goal for myself which is your point b now while i know that yes i will be able to reach at that point even without an mba however i find it much more valuable to be able to pursue mba from your b school because not only will i be able to reach that goal of mine much faster but i do get a lot of other advantages of being a part of your prestigious b school what are these advantages these advantages could simply be networking could simply be gaining the insights from some of the industry professionals which visit your b school or from learning from those professors who have trained some of the most largest biggest stalwarts of that industry so when you package this and i would like to go back to this slide you might want to screenshot this because this is broadly what will give you your answer for why MBA again what I'd like to remind you is that MBA is never the objective MBA cannot be your goal that hey I always wanted to pursue MBA and hence I am pursuing MBA no there has got to be a larger goal which you need to have which you need to find out and MBA can only be the means to that goal now some students who say that but sir my honest answer is that sir I want to earn more the fact is great that is honest but then you need to find how are you planning to earn more are you planning to earn more from finance or from marketing or from sales or from operations that level of clarity is important because professors who would be there in your interview they understand this they've seen students thousands of students each year they prefer students who have clarity they prefer students who know why they are pursuing mba they prefer students who know that okay once i get into this b school this is one focus this is one focused domain in which i intend to work and then this student will work hard to get a placement in that field for them for the b school the most important thing for them is that how to get that batch placed how to get quality students in their program who are open to the kind of experiences which that b school offer so with that in mind i hope you've got the clarity you've got the ultimate way to find out that how do you craft your why mba answer i'll see you in another video wherein i'll help you with something else in your interview prep thanks a lot and goodbye